Hello friends, welcome free automation learning channel and my name is Chiral. Today we are going to discuss about a, what is a cross browser testing and how can we automate this cross browser testing in Selenium 3 and what are the advantage of it. So today agenda would be what is a cross browser testing. The cross browser testing is that we need to test our application in different browser so to test uh, our application in different browser is known as cross browser testing so usually manual tester do cross browser testing to see whether that application is opening correctly or not in different browser and in different browser version right so they could be a possible that something is opening in Firefox but it is not opening on Chrome or IE, IE or Edge browser. So we need to do this thing uh, for regression testing test suit using Selenium WebDriver. Right. So we will discuss about these things in this video and what are the advantage of cross browser testing the uh, advantage of it, this testing is that the product manager or client or the user can be use our application or wanna to use our application which is a bug free right uh, they do not like a buggy application so as a tester we need to analyze or we need to manage that our application should work on different browser so by doing this we can say that uh, we have tested this application in this this browser and it is working fine so by doing uh, this thing in manual way it is a time taking so it is a good idea to automate same scenario or same test cases with uh, different browser right so what we do we just pass our browser from testng file or from outside the uh, test cases in which browser we need to automate our test uh, we in which browser we need to run our test script so our test script would be the same but we need to pass browser from the other file to our test cases so in this way we can uh, use selenium 3 to test cross uh, cross browser testing right so let me show you one more thing that in selenium web driver the playlist which i created by using selenium web driver 2 i created the tutorial 18 in which i told that and i also showed how we can invoke uh, chrome browser how, how we can invoke ie browser how we can invoke edge browser and firefox browser so the approach should uh, would be a uh, same but uh, we will just compile this three code in a single way and also pass our browser value from outside the test script so we will do these things right so let me open my eclipse and we'll create a tutorial 11 for this and clicked on finish right so i will create a web driver driver and we will create a method public void setup and here we will pass a string which is browser and we will write the code we, we, we can use here a switch case or we can use if else so uh, you can uh, use anything switch case is better and if else is better but it does not uh, it does not uh, affect your code you can use anything right so let me write this way browser dot equals ignore case and 
if firefox then we will write the code for firefox if else if browser dot equals ignore chrome so we will write the code for chrome and else if if browser dot equals ignore edge so we will write the code of for the edge browser else print s y s o please check browser type so what i write here what i write here that if browser name is equals firefox then we let me create a string path in which we call system dot get properties and pass the key user dot ir and this after that and after that we just pass driver because in my drivers there would be a there is a driver folder you can see and i put all the drivers here so i would write this way and if you can see that in selenium web driver 2 there would be a microsoft web driver so i will copy and paste here so i kept my all drivers under drivers folder so i give the path for this drivers folder now i will for firefox i will set to system dot set properties where i have to write web driver dot geeko dot driver and just write path and write give this value and this right after that i need to initiate driver is equal to firefox driver right same way i will do for this chrome for chrome we invoke chrome driver and put chrome here and here we write enter chrome driver after that we will write for the edge driver so what mistake i did here i did web driver web driver web driver and edge driver value would be this so i copy this and paste over here right and here i would 
give new h driver after that i have to give driver dot manage dot window dot maximize and pass driver dot get so http www google dot com and we'll give the implicit weight also driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicit weight for 30 seconds time unit dot seconds over here right so this is all about the code how this code we should pass the browser name here and if it match for firefox it invoke this if it is equals for chrome then it would invoke chrome driver if it's equal to edge it invoke edge driver if it's nothing for this that it's just print the message please check browser type right after that we have maximize our window and pass our url application url and set the implicit weight one more thing we also do we parameter use parameters for test ng right and we also use optional is Firefox and here we need to browser name and in pre in previous window So this way we can pass. So how we can pass? We can pass our browser name parameter from the test ng and after that this code would run. And here I need to public void search. keyword I am creating a new method after the driver dot find element by dot name and value would be Q and after that send keys close Sir, testing is the keyword which I will search and after that we put some weight so that we can see whether this keyword has been searched or not by selenium web driver and just put this into try and catch after that we will create a new method which would be a tear down and driver dot quit so this is my after method 
this would be my main method and this would be my before method right so let me create a new test ng file for this friend for the one framework we usually have one test ng file but this is a tutorial video so i am just creating a test ng file multiple so that you can easily download and see this test ng file right so this is my test ng file here i just need to take a browser name and my browser name would pass here and we just write firefox so first we will search by firefox and after that we will change the parameter in this right so this is all about the code level if you can see the code so this is the code and now we will run this through testng.xml file run as test suit and we will see what will be the output for this you can see firefox is launching yes it, it is launched it has been maximized and you can see cross browser testing is searched by my code right and if you can see that it has been passed right now i need to run this through chrome so what I, I have to do i have to just pass chrome here save run as test ng suit so you can see chrome browser is launched and cross browser testing is searched so guys this is the way how we can pass uh, our browser from uh, test ng file and you can see that it has been passed and we can do cross browser testing just passing the browser from here so this is all for this video and in this video we have covered about cross browser testing and for the cross browser testing we can search uh, keyword this is a cross browser testing and we have passed different browser name through testng.xml file and thank you for watching this video i hope you understand this code because this code is not much complicated and thank you for watching this video bye bye